Hi guys, it's Sarah and welcome back to a very long awaited video. Oh, I just want to say I'm so sorry I've not posted in a while. Um, I've just been very busy to be honest. Like I have been vlogging because I've been going out geocaching with my sister. So head over to my vlogging channel because I'll probably be posting a lot more, I think, on my vlogging channel. Especially, oh my god, this year is just going to be so exciting with vlogs. Like I'm actually so excited. So make sure you subscribe to I Sarah Vlogs to catch up with that. But I do want to say I'm very sorry that I haven't posted. Honestly, like I have just been busy, bu busy, busy. And I've just not really known what to film either. And yeah, it's just basically been one of them where I didn't want to just pick up the camera just for the sake of filming. Um, when I didn't, I was just going to film just for the sake of it, if that makes sense. So that is why I haven't really uploaded. But I'm going back with a video and I'm going to be doing my monthly favourites because I have been loving quite a lot recently and I wanted to share it with you guys. I like watching these type of videos so that is why I am doing it and yeah and also I'm having a makeup free day so ignore the spotty face. Um, I say spotty face it's not actually as bad as what it's been recently but yeah so let's get into the video. So I might have to zoom out for this one but actually no I'm going to save the best to last. I don't know if you can see it in the corner but I'm going to save the best to last. Um, so yeah, let's decide what I'm going to show you first. So I have a lot of like skincare products. So I'm going to save them to like a little bit later because there's quite a bit. But the first one that I kind of wanted to show you was what well, I've been using my hair at the moment because I'm absolutely loving it. It smells amazing. It's worked so well. And yeah, and obviously no, I'm not getting sponsored for this, but quite a lot of people would have seen it on TikTok. And that is how I found it. But when I tell you this works, I mean this works. Like, I don't even know if you can see here. I have like little tiny bits on the top of my head. And it's made him, that's new thing, like roots of the hair growing. And my hair's just felt in so much more, like better condition than it has been. And I'm just so happy with how my hair is at the moment. And it's all down to this product. It's got to be because before that, I was not happy with it. Like, I really wanted to it to grow and stuff and it just wasn't and i know a lot of like getting your hair to grow is what a lot of what you put in your body so i have i have started to change that but sometimes i forget but this is obviously something that i would use on a weekly basis i use it once or twice a week and it's this hair oil if you're on tiktok you will know you would have seen this it's this rosemary oil I think it's rosemary. I said it wrong in my last video. It's, yeah, the rosemary oil. It's the nature spell, natural rosemary oil, and it's natural treatment oil, hair, natural treatment oil, hair oil to body oil, all hair and skin types. And yeah, so it's in this bottle. This one is diluted. You have to be careful with kind of like what oils you get from this because some of them aren't diluted and it can actually like damage your hair and stuff. It's really bad for it, but this one is actually diluted. It actually says natural rosemary oil aromatherapy treatment oil. And it bit, it says here, to use, apply a small amount throughout damp or dry hair. Style as usual, apply a small amount directly on the skin and massage, massage well. I only use it for my hair, I don't use it for my skin. And basically I will smother my hair in it on a hair wash day. You can you put it in and use it overnight, but I've not done that yet. But yeah, so like, for example, this morning, I did wash my hair and I have used the oil. I basically, I put it in like this little thing with like a little pump and I'll basically put like two drops on my hands and I'll work it into like the roots in the hair and then I'll smother the rest of it in after I've done every single bit of the roots, like from the back, the side, the top, everything like that. My hair will feel really oily, but I'll leave it in for a few hours and then I'll wash it out in the shower and it just feels so much softer and it has actually grown. So I'm very happy with how my hair is at the moment and it's all down to this oil. You can get it in a few places. You can get it on it from Sephora, um, their website sells it. And you can get it from TikTok shop and you can also i'm pretty sure i might be wrong i'm pretty sure you can get it from amazon but i definitely know that sephora 
and TikTok shop sell it. I'll try and link it down below, but I'm rubbish at remembering to link things. But I'll try and link as many of these products down below that I'm showing you. But yeah, that is the first one that I am loving this month. And I don't know if you can see, I've only got like this much left of it. So I do need to order a new one. <laughs> but yeah, so that is the first item that I have been loving. So the next product that I'm going to be showing you is some perfume. Now, I got this out of my birthday money and I absolutely love it. I use it every day. A little goes a long way and I've had it since, had it since my birthday. And I've been using it ever since then, pretty much on a daily basis. And I've still got loads left. Still feel, still sounds like I've got loads left anyway. Anyway, it's this Ariana perfume. I've thrown the box away, so I can't remember which one it is. But I'll find it and I'll link it down below if I remember. But this smells so nice. Like, I absolutely love the smell of this. And I'll use it on a daily basis. And I get compliments daily about the smell of this i absolutely love it and i love how cute it is as well it's got a little pom-pom on it it's in the, it's the color pink and yeah it's got ariana grande's name on here which i doubt you're going to be able to see because it probably won't focus there we go <laughs> i've done it the wrong way but you you get the gist but yeah, I absolutely love this. It's so cute and little as well. And it can just pop into your handbag. And yeah, it smells amazing. I love it. So that is something I have been loving this few months. Next, I'm going to move on to lips. Now, I did get this for Christmas. So I couldn't tell you where it's from. I think it was from like a little stall on Lowry Marketplace. But it's this little like lip balm. And it's w.s.robinson's chain chainbridge honey farm lavender lip balm and it's in this little container here and i absolutely love it like literally it's lasted me so long and i use it on a daily basis i literally will just pop it on my lips and it's literally insanely soft and i absolutely love it i've said that already but i do and it smells well nice and <laughs> Papa sounded so good then. You can tell him from self, guys. It smells really, really nice. And it's little, like I said, a little goes a long way. And it's in this little ditty pot. And it will fit into your little handbag or a little pocket or anything like that. And it's such a little cute travel size one. But like I say, I've been using it since Christmas. And a little does go a long way because I've still got all of that left inside of it. As you can see here, I literally have. So much left inside of it but it's not going to focus because it's still focusing on my face it's not going to focus i'm trying but yeah i think it's from a little solid marketplace um in the lower center but yeah so i won't be able to link this one if i remember how to, if i remember to link the rest but yeah it's honestly i absolutely love it next we're going to move on to deodorant <laughs> i Oh my goodness, this is my favourite, my all-time favourite deodorant that I've ever, ever used. And I will never go back. I get gutted when I can't find it and I have to use something else. But this is, like, it's insane. I love the smell. I love how it feels on. And yeah, and it does say for after shaving. But I use it even if I've not shaved. Because, believe it or not, girls sometimes don't shave the armpits. Especially if it's in winter and they're not wearing short sleeves or, or like strappy tops or anything like that but it is this nivea said moisturizer nivea black and white invisible silky smooth aftershave and it's anti spray i don't know how to say that but yeah that word is what i'm trying to say anyway it's 48 hour protection and it's five times anti odor sweat stains irritation etc and i absolutely love it it smells so nice like you could wear this without perfume or body spray and it still smell really nice just by itself i have used this for years now and i absolutely love it it's literally my go-to deodorant and i don't think i will ever change it but yeah i absolutely love it and i'm going to be gutted if this ever 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 gets discontinued it's going to be so annoying but you can get this from like Superdrug, Boots, places like that. I'm pretty sure you can get it from Asda as well. 
I'm pretty sure. I might put it in with this now. Don't know. Anyway, I absolutely love it. And it smells so nice. Now, we're going to move on to face products. So, um, I don't know if I told you in like my birthday video, but basically, my mum treated me to a day at a spa, like a little spa day. And basically, we had like a facial and a back massage as well. And they used some products on our face. Like they found, they used this thing to see kind of like what your skin is like so if it's like dry oily stuff like that i found out i have combination skin so i have a bit of oily skin and a bit of dry skin which i did not know i kind of assumed that was going to be the case because i'm oily around here but i'm dry everywhere else and i can be oily around here as well but that just confirmed it so she did use a few products on her face and she listed the products that she used and one of them that I absolutely loved was the face mask. So my mum very nicely treated me to the face mask for my birthday and she ordered it online because there wasn't any in the actual like place and it's this ESPA clarifying clay mineral mask and it's purifying mask to balance and deep cleanse and it just basically says the best results smooth generously over face neck face and neck relax for 20 minutes before rinsing away with warm water and it's just in this little it's in a little cute pot like i've never seen a face mask in this type of pot pot it's like a marble effect on the top and i absolutely love it i've used it quite a lot and it like a little goes a long way and it kind of just soaks into your skin and then you leave it on for like 20 minutes and you like rinse it off and it makes your skin like feel absolutely soft amazing and it actually does give it a deep cleanse i use this it doesn't actually tell you how many times to use it a week but i just use it whenever i can i kind of have like a little pamper night maybe once or twice a week and i'll put this on um and it makes my face feel absolutely amazing after i popped it on and yeah it's one of my favorite face masks at the moment and i didn't obviously i used to have a favorite face mask but i don't have it anymore this is topped it 100 percent. it's better than i personally think it's better than the charcoal ones but yeah that's just me but that might just be because it's my for my skin type if that makes sense but it is quite pricey i'll try and link it down in the comments section below but it is pricey but yeah i absolutely love it at the moment the next thing as i have been loving recently is the the scar slayer from glow hub you can get this from sephora or tiktok shop and it is vegan you'll be pleased to know and it just says i'm here for scarring dark spots and pigments pigmentation and then it says how to use apply three to four drops after cleansing before moisturizer use daily am and pm follow with spf in the am avoid eye area oh my goodness i have been using this like a few days now and i can already tell the difference in my skin i've noticed like it's making my spots go down which is really 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 good and literally uh, when i say a little goes a long way you probably don't even need that three to four drops that's how much it spreads and i have been using it morning and night i do give my give it a break sometimes just because it it's got a few bits of ac acidy things in like i don't know how to pronounce it it's like trying trying to make tranemic acid and ascorbic acid i actually don't know how to spell i like to say things how it looks but you'll see here so obviously that is why it tells you to wear the spf because it can help it can kind of break the skin barrier a little bit for outside pollution but i do like to use this most days but i do have a break sometimes just because obviously it's got that acidy stuff in it and i don't want it to like damage my skin which I, it probably won't but i'd rather be on the safe side but yeah I absolutely love this. I'm loving it at the moment and I'm really like excited to see what it does like over the period of me using it. And yeah, it just smells amazing. It makes your skin feel amazing. And I already have seen improvements whilst using this. So yeah. Next for skincare 
is this Liz Earl. I got Liz Earl stuff for Christmas and I absolutely love this. This is like one of the favourite product products out of it so far. I haven't used everything because I got two like two cleansers but I've only been using this cleanser. It's Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser and it's rose and lavender and it's a relaxing addition. It deeply cleanses and gently exfoliates for radiant clearer looking skin and this is what it looks like. Like I say, it is Liz Earl, so it is a little bit more on the pricey side. But I tend to use this when I've had makeup on and I'm getting the makeup off. I won't use a baby wipe. I'll use this to get the makeup off and I'll just rub it into the dry skin. I'll circular motion, circular motion rub it into the dry skin. And then I'll wipe it off with a damp cloth. And then I'll do it again just to be on the safe side that it's got everything off. I always cleanse twice when I've got makeup on and I just love how, how it like leaves your skin and it gets all of the dirt and makeup off your skin and it smells absolutely amazing as well so that is another thing that I have been loving the last thing for face now is a makeup kind of makeup product and it's this Mario Best I cannot pronounce it I always hear people pronounce it but I can never pronounce it this stuff from Beauty Bay and I've had it I've been using this stuff a long time now, but I've only just really properly been like using it. Um, it's a facial spray with olive oil, herbs and rose water in it. And it's for all skin types. And I just love how refreshing this is for your face. So when I put makeup on, obviously sometimes you can use like makeup that kind of makes your face feel a little bit dry. So like if you're using like powders and stuff like that, I will, after I've done my makeup, I will literally spritz my face with it and then I'll let it like draft it in like this and you can also use it just for a little rejuvenate hydrate just through the day even if you've not got makeup on it smells amazing and it makes your skin feel so soft and I absolutely love it it's from Beauty Bay I've had it for ages now so a little does go a long way as you can see I literally had this I think I had this before I moved into here and then also before I moved into the new house that my dad is still in now. I'm pretty sure I had it in the old house, the old, old house. And that's how long I've had it for. Like, and it's not even out of date. I don't even think there's an out of date thing on it. I absolutely love this because a little goes a long way, like I said. And I just love how it like hydrates your skin when you need it to. Now, onto the last thing that I've been absolutely loving. It's massive. It's all over TikTok at the moment. I use it, try to use it on a daily basis, but when I do use it, I use it for half an hour. It's the weighted hula hoop. Now, you can get this on TikTok. As you, like, if you're very big on TikTok, you will know that you can. But I got this one off Amazon for a little bit cheaper, and it's on Amazon Prime. Well, actually, no, it's not. I wanted Amazon Prime one, and it wasn't. It said it was standard delivery was free. And it could take up to five days and it still came next day. So I can't complain. But basically, if you don't know what the weighted hula hoop is, it's kind of got this like little sandbag weight attached to a, like these links. Oh, ah, I just dropped it. This like kind of slides on and you use as many links as you need to to put it around your waist. And it's like this and you kind of like it's not properly like a hula hoop it's a little bit different i find it really easy though some people don't some people struggle at first but yeah you kind of like just do it and then it's supposed to let you kind of lose a little bit of weight but also tone up at the same time i'm just doing it purely to tone up and you're supposed to be able to like lose links and stuff i haven't lost a link yet but i'm happy just to use it to tone up anyway not to lose weight but yeah I absolutely love it. It's one of my new favourite things to do and literally you can get it from TikTok, TikTok shop or Amazon. I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, I got it in pink because pink's my favourite colour and yeah. This make for the hula hoop is called Swivel Pro if you, any of you are interested. So that is it. That is what I've been loving recently and I thought what better way to bring my YouTube channel back to life for not posting in like a month. Well, actually, let me see how long it's been. It would have been a month this today that you watched this, but I'd not posted for 
crazy but yeah like i say i do apologize about not posting and yeah but i've got a lot of exciting things coming and i actually can't wait so yeah anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it please please hit that thumbs up because it'll tell me to do more videos like this um like i say i do like watching video like other people's videos of this so i might just do it anyway every now and again but if you enjoy it just let me know and also comment in the comment section below what you would like to see more of on my channel and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are new and also head over to my vlogging channel i sarah vlogs because there's a lot of vlogs going up coming up recently i've got very into geocaching and also there's a lot of fun adventures coming up soon as well which i'm so excited about <laughs> that's my squeaky voice because i was excited but yeah and thank you again for watching and i will see you next week with another video bye